Garu amat itu mak iya nama. Mama itu mak ada wahai wajib. The minister said that I brought forward the marriage proposals for him and that he was looking for marriage after accepting the dowry. I would like to tell the minister that the father-in-law of Shamin the Vijay Sri is a rural farmer from Bandarvela. You can ask MP Denipitiya about it as well. I married the woman I love. I never abandoned her for issues. I am not a person to engage in such acts. I will not mention others, though I can. I will not compare myself with you. We are like the two polar ends. I will not slander anyone's personal life. But if you try to slander me, I will not falter. We can start about it with the legal action filed by Sujeeva Sena Singh. I will respond to what he had said. I am not a person who built hotels after entering the provincial councils and the parliament. I do not have secret bank accounts. Prove it if you can. Then I will step down from politics. This is a document on the 2022 lubricant market in Sri Lanka as prepared by the PUCSL. We looked into one of these companies. It lists the Singapore-based Sinopec company. When we visited the website of the International Lubricants Company, IOE is a bio-registered company and the filling owner subsidy of the McLaren Group of Company. They have linked with the Chinese company that linked with the Singapore company and then linked to the local company that deals in rupees. Rupees are for local businessmen. That is why I raised my concerns over a possible conflict of interest. If your feelings were hurt over my assumptions, I regret that. I did what my father did and he is a good businessman because he did what was right. I am happy to have followed my father. However, can anyone say they would not follow their father's footsteps? I would challenge it. The assumption he made became the main headlines in a newspaper and it violated privileges. Therefore, I will direct this matter in writing to the Parliament Privileges Committee. The aim was to use this assumption to get a different headline. If one using Parliament privileges to make assumptions, to make allegations, that is violation of privileges of all MPs. If there is an allegation, one can move to court, the bribery commission or even the CID. But no one does it. Take it before the Privileges Committee. I am not afraid. The Privileges Committee is like Batalanda. If anyone in court speaks, they are summoned. If anyone speaks to the media, they are summoned. The media reported what Chaminda Vijay Siri said. Do not make this a Batalanda.